Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Archipelago, where I am the chief of the spiders. The Spider King. Yeah, when we left off, we were going incredibly insane. We had just summoned ourselves a spider army. Why? Because we freaking can, that's why. Um, we just look so fantastic with them following us all over the place. I thought I should mention at the very beginning of the episode, so that you guys can have your diligent eyes looking after it, that uh, I am changing how I, um, how I record my videos, so if you notice a drop in quality or an increase in quality or anything like that, please, 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 please let me know because uh, I'm trying to figure out whether or not these settings are actually worth it. So, um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so when we last left off, we were on Archipelago. We, uh, we were trying to find, I think we just got to this island, so we are trying to find, we just found this wormhole here. We already knew about this one. This is where we came from. And we're trying to find, without the use of our divining rod for some reason, um, where the thingamy thingamajigger is on this place here, yeah, in, in this area. So we're gonna use it. Oh, look at that, we found ourselves another wormhole. Um, I'm not gonna go through it just in case it is like a sick wormhole or something like that. I do love these tumbleweeds though. I might actually have to go back to um, the bees to try and get some more. Oh, 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 come on, I want you, I want you. Ah. I really don't need these spiders, and I kind of wasted a lot of food giving them. <laughs> I gave them all of my food. I'm an idiot. Anyways, I am going to have myself a little bit of a uh, gander at uh, finding where the heck it is, and if I find something, I shall let you know. Hey guys, welcome back. We found it. Now we do have to be careful. The pig did go to sleep, but uh, we are the enemy of the pig because. Oh, look at that! We found Chester! That's awesome! I love Chester. I'm going to pick him up immediately because I am out of inventory space. You guys do not attack Chester! Oh, they're attacking Chester. Gosh darn it! Well, not my guys. My guys are too friendly for that. Yeah, and if you hadn't noticed, we are past the point of no return for sanity right now, so basically what that means is we have the squiggly lines, and we are going to be attacked by our, um, our hallucinations, which is not very cool. But at least we found, um, Chester, so Chester will boost our sanity by nothing, because it's Chester, but you know what? He makes me more sane, and that's what counts. I'm pretty insane. Okay, this guy's gonna try and attack me, and I'm just going to attack him first. Ow! Okay, you, how you deal with these guys is you let them attack you once. You do this. Yeah, there we go. And then you hit them. And you just do this a couple times. Killing the uh, sting next to them, by the way, does decrease your sanity, so be careful of that. Um. But killing them will actually give you a sanity boost, which is really nice. So, like, now you see I'm at 20 instead of the, well, I think I was, like, at 5 by the time that I actually killed him. So, it's a really nice boost to kill those guys. Just get them out of your way. They're pretty easy to kill. You just have to hit them a couple times. Uh, bringing Chester in with all these spiders is probably not a good idea. Um, I think we're going to go through a warm hole. I need something to boost my sanity. So I'm gonna go through this and I'll be right back. Well, this doesn't really boost my sanity. If anything, it screws me even harder. So that's a lot of fun. Fantastic fun. And now everything is attacking. Oh no, don't hit kill the chest! No! I don't know where my voice went with that, but oh my goodness. Um the spiders are now attacking Chester, and it seems as though I've lost control over them which is really freaking annoying if I do say so myself. I think we are on, yeah. This is not the island we started on. It's not the swamp island we started on. So that kind of sucks. It's a secondary swamp island. Um, I think I'm just gonna stay here for the night. Hopefully not get attacked or killed by anything. I'm gonna put down my camp fire. Yeah. 
All right, and uh, we are going to put a little bit more things into Chester. That sounded nasty, but uh, you know what? It's how it is. I'm going to eat this koala trunk, even though I really need the warmth. Oh, well, it's too late. It's already been cooked. All right, and we are going to murder the mole worm. If you didn't know, I got the mole worm when I... W oh, crap! Oh, crap! And I put the my defenses... Oh, crap, 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 crap. I am so going to die. Uh, uh, uh. No, let me build my light, you jackass. Chester, give me this. Thank you. Ow. You go away. Ow. Darn it. Yeah, we're going to die. This is not going to be fun. I can't see a damn thing. And now it's coming for my... No, oh, get out of here. That guy is going insane. I have one health left. Two. Okay, we have two. This is perfectly fine. We'll just eat some petals. Get out of here. Come on. Eat them petals. Woo! Get away. Aha, I dodged you. Oh, that's a tentacle spike. Aha, I dodged you again. Oh no! Ah, Dad! <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, we suck. And by we, I mean me. Ah. Alright, let's go back in. Um. <laughs> I knew that dying was going to happen. Um, I am not very good at this game. And I'm not good enough to play adventure mode. Apparently. I think I'm good enough. Anyways, let's go back in, let's activate the adventure door once more and get molested by dark, dark creatures. Oh yeah, they're coming for my goodies. See you on the other side. Welcome to the other side, guys! It turns out we got a cold reception. Yeah, that's not one of the greatest ones, but it's one of the easier levels. Um, the only thing that we really have to worry about in this one is uh, certain resources being scarce and, um, you know, constant rain and snow. It's like every three days it snows, every day it rains. So it's a bit of a pain in the ass. We're gonna need to get ourselves a pretty parasol as soon as possible. Uh, one of the things that I've noticed uh, from playing this on stream, and I don't stream anymore due to uh, kind of like just where I live, it like terrible time zones and all that stuff. It's just not cool. When I'm awake, everybody's asleep. And it's just like, oh, well, I'll just play it by myself, but put it online because I like to use bandwidth. Except I don't have a cap on my data. Anyways, um, yeah, so one thing that I've noticed when I was streaming that is that um, the area that in which you spawn in normally has a lot of the resources that you need. Um, whereas as you go further out, you'll start noticing what which resource is actually, you know, scarce. So this could be, like, this is the type of tree, by the way, that doesn't give you any sort of seeds. I really, 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 really need some petals. What are you? Oh, crap! Ah! Get out of here. The uh, pigs automatically hate me anyways, but uh, this is one of those torch pigs that tries to, like, protect the torch. Protect the torch. Torch is life. Torch is love. Torch is everything. Uh, yeah, so I was thinking a couple of you guys were giving me some tips as to, like, what to bring with you. Um, when you go through the portals, and I'm sure we'll get through one eventually. <laughs> um, when you go through the portals, you're allowed to carry four slots of items with you. So, like, four of these inventory slots down here with you. And, um, what I was thinking is a really good idea to bring with me. You guys were suggesting, like, winter clothes, you know, some warp stuff, and... Until, you know, I at least get through the King of Winter, which is the Perpetual Winter one. Um, I don't think that's actually a really good idea. Like, it's an alright idea and all that stuff. Like, it, it, you know, you need some winter clothes. They don't really give you much in the way of winter protection when you're in that level. But, um, no, there's actually a better, better way of going about it. I'm going to create my pretty parasol. No, actually, um, a better way of doing that is to just bring along the materials in which you'll need to create the winter clothes. So, like, a winter hat requires silk and and um, fur. B 
beef loafer. So like instead of bringing a winter hat along, I could bring uh, beef uh, beef loafer and silk. And you know, beef loafer and silk can be very useful in later levels. Uh, some of you were suggesting bringing a bug net into the last level, which is um, I'm gonna keep that a secret. But um, yeah, instead of bringing a bug net, maybe I could just bring a lot of silk and some sticks, because a lot of silk and some sticks is going to make me a lot of bug nets. Whereas, you know, if I had just brought one bug net, I can only catch ten bugs, and that's not cool. I want to catch all the bugs! All of them! Together! Forever! Can't keep the buggy brethren alone. Anyways, it looks as though we do have um, enough straw uh, like grass for a straw hat one of the problems that I have run into is like I found a bunch of grass when I first started out on cold reception and then I would create myself a straw hat because you know keeps the rain away keeps the wetness at bay but uh, then I would find out later on that grass was actually a, um, a resource that I, I didn't have much of so I ended up screwing myself over in the end which is not cool Anyways, yeah, a cold reception is basically a mixture between spring and winter over and over again. I don't want to stay here very long. And look at that, we found our first piece of the Z puzzle. I was just about to cut here and say I'm going to go looking for it. But uh, I ended up finding it. That's pretty awesome. All right, so here we go. I am going to cut here now and see if I can find something before um, the evening starts. The other thing that you'll notice is that uh, we don't have very much daylight. Which is perfectly fine with me because, like, spiders don't really bug me and they're normally the biggest threat during this time, other than the fact that, like, your sanity goes down 24-7. Yeah. Anyway, it's time to do that thing that I said I was going to do, like, three years ago. And I must be getting good at this. This is the second one down. We've got ourselves the metal potato thingy. And it didn't even take me that long. Oh my gosh. We're amazing. Anyways, I'm going to continue on my wayward song. Don't you cry no more. I don't know where that came from. Anyways, I'm going to continue on, and I'll be right back. Guys, welcome back. Yeah, I didn't find anything yet, but I did find some gold! I love gold. Gold is amazing. It allows me to craft so many useful things, such as a freaking backpack. Give me the backpack, and I will love you for life. Why? Because I always have problems keeping things in my pockets. Yeah, that's right. I have very large pockets, but I also have other things that I keep around my pockets that uh, take up a lot of space, and I mean, like, carrying this many rocks around with me is kind of taking up a lot of space. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna grab myself some gold, we're gonna be able to make ourselves a science machine. One other thing that you'll note, um, that, that's pretty interesting, is when you go through these worlds... Oh crap, oh crap, this is not good. Um, boom. Yeah, there we go. Alright, when you go through these worlds, um, what ends up happening is hmm, let's light this on fire because I don't care. All right. Um, what ends up happening is you you keep all of the things that you've already crafted. So if I was to craft a science machine, I don't need to learn the recipe for it anymore. And if I was to uh, oh crap oh crap this is not good. No, I don't want you to examine the take the light and put it in your hand. Thank you. Okay. Ha ha. Yes, I know that's log. That is a nice log, but I don't need you to look at it. I'm gonna just plant this down because there's plenty of spiders around. I don't really need it. Uh, we'll take this and this, and we'll pick up our axe. There we go. And I think I'm gonna eat some stuff. Okay, you take your recipes with you. <laughs> this is taking me forever to say. You take your recipes with you, so I remember these recipes right here. And uh, anything that you build, you can take structures in with you. So anything that you've pre-built, so let's say that I built myself a science machine. Well, um, oh, that was a little bit of a lag there. Um, well, that would mean that the science machine comes with me. That's right, he's my buddy for life. No, he comes with me and, you know, I can just place him down. If you want to know how to pre-build things, um, all you have to do is just right-click to cancel placing them down. And, yeah, I'll actually show you how to do that in a moment here, once I get enough wood, because uh, we need one more log, and then we'll be able to do this. There we go. So, all you have to do is click on it. It'll 
give you the green go ahead and then you just right click and you won't build it and it stays in your inventory now I've got a little bit of a bug glitch that's because of um, this mod right here whenever you add mods it kind of like destabilizes the game I don't know why you think they would be used to that by now but oh well anyways I'm gonna continue on my way and I'll be right back when I find something what is up, boys and girls? Welcome back. Yeah, we are going to place down our science machine right here because I want to prototype myself a razor if I can find it. Where the heck is it? There it is. Yeah, why? Because these beefalo are asleep and they don't know any better. So we are going to shave the crap out of all of them. Oh yeah, give me some of that nice, nice fur. The other reason why I'm doing this is because I think after... I'm not sure if it's day three or which day it is in particular... But uh, one of these days, it's going to turn into winter, and guess who's going to freeze his butt off? That's right, not this guy right here. No, this guy. Yeah, it's not cool. Anyway, so I decided to uh, bunker down, get some beefalo. I might as well also prototype myself a backpack while I'm at it so I can hold more things. A thermal stone, I need a... Ah, I need an alchemy engine. Um... Do we have enough stone for that? Well, that... Okay, refined stone is three. So... Oh, that's six in total. And then we need two for each of these, I think. Nope, just one for each. So it's six, it's twelve. We have enough. But uh, that means we won't be able to make ourselves a fire pit, which is... Eh, that's all right with me. We'll have to worry about making the fire pit some other time. So here we go. We just need four of these. There we go. We got them. Look at how sad they are. Oh my gosh, I feel so bad. No, I don't. It's either you or me, pal. It's either you or me. Oh, we're going to need a lot more wood for this stuff, too. All right, well, I'm going to be right back once I have myself enough wood, and we're going to prototype more stuff. Now, I don't recommend uh, doing, like, what I'm doing. It's just that cold reception is kind of, like, a little bit easier of, um, of a map to play on. So, like, it's easy for me to set up a permanent esque type of base type thing and I did kind of like put it near the middle and it is kind of near resources as well which is good but um yeah I don't really recommend you know building yourself any sort of permanent structures at least in your first world unless you absolutely need them like I do so yeah anyways I'll be right back Welcome back guys. So we do have ourselves an alchemy engine now. I'm just going to right click. I'm pretty sure it, it allows me to prototype the same things that you need as uh, for uh, that you would need the science machine for. So I'm just going to kind of leave it alone. I can come back for it if I need to, but I'm going to go on the road. I don't really need um, anything from the science, uh, from the alchemy engine just yet. So I'm just going to continue going. That's the biggest thing that you want to make sure that you're doing, especially in King of Winter. You want to make sure that you are continuing on, uh, continue, like, Continuing on continuously. Man, I am a wizard with words. Oh yeah, so amazing. Alright, so um, yeah, you just want to make sure that you are continuously moving and looking for those parts. You don't want to dwell in a world too long because uh, eventually the lack of resources and all that other stuff, all that fun stuff, will catch up on you and it will start to wear you down until you die. As we saw with Archipelago, I got a little ahead of myself. I should have went back to the bee world there and, you know, kind of picked up all of the flowers I could possibly get my hands on. Yeah, but uh, I didn't do that because I'm silly. Anyways, yeah, so let's see, what do we got? Let's go this way. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go looking for uh, another one of these things and I'll be right back. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, so um, we kind of ran out of time for the rest of the video. I didn't really find anything else. So yeah, this is what we have so far. Yeah, we cut one thing here and things all over the place. Anyways, yep, yeah, I thought I would uh, kind of cut the video a little bit shorter because that means I can put out uh, more episodes a little bit quicker and things like that. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think of, you know, this new recording setup. Um, I, I need to know if there's any glitches or anything like that. Look at that wee fantastic beard. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video as much as I did making it. Until next time, bye.